Hey, everybody. It's Grayson from iMark Interactive. I uh, put out a little something last week uh, asking people what kind of videos they wanted to see. And the number one request that we got in our Facebook group was how to install Google Analytics into WordPress. Luckily for you, I'm going to show you a couple ways, and they're all quite easy. I will preface that there is no coding involved in this. I'm going to show you a couple of plugins, and if you use the Genesis framework, I'm going to show you how to put it right into the header. I will say, if somebody tells you to place this in your header and says, hey, just edit your header.php file, turn away from them and do not listen, because that is how you break things. You do not just go into your header.php file and just add code. That is uh, not a correct way of doing things. So if somebody says, hey, you don't need a plugin for that, while that is true, you need to know how to do coding and you need to know how to make it future-proof. So I would recommend a plugin instead. There are many great ones, and I'm going to show you a couple. And some themes even have a way for you to add Google Analytics right into the settings. So check your theme, but if you use Genesis or many of the other popular themes, there's just an easy way to do this with a, a, a really nice plugin, two actually really nice plugins. You don't have to use both at the same time, obviously. But I'm going to kind of show you how to do this. First things first, what is Google Analytics? It is the de facto, the standard way of tracking your visitors on the web today. If you wanted to go to an advertiser and say, hey, I would love for you to pay this much for a sponsored post, they're going to want to look at your Google Analytics traffic. What this does is it tracks people coming into your site, where they came from, Facebook, Twitter, Google. Uh, if you use Bing, uh, you, anywhere they come from, it tracks where they come from, where they go on your site, how long they've been there, kind of what they do, and it's all free. So this is a wealth of information that you can get all with a free Google Analytics account. It hooks into your Google account, so if you have a Gmail account, you're good to go. If you don't, sign up for a free Google account and you can have a Google Analytics account. First things first is you need to sign up for a Google Analytics account or get it set up. So go to google.com slash analytics. You're just going to click sign into analytics. And then put your email address in and your password. And then once it loads up, you're going to say start measuring. Now I will say I have noticed that there sign up form is a little bit messed up there's zero scrolling ability on it uh, it's like this in Chrome and Firefox so it's a little strange um, but first thing you need to do is an account set up an account there's three properties in uh, Google Analytics there's an account there are properties and there are views uh, you can have one account can have 50 properties and each property can have multiple views so if you have multiple websites you can have one account one website could be one property, one website could be another property, and then you can have views in each one. So you really only need one account name. I'm going to do my uh, iMark Interactive training for this. And then in order to get down, I'm going to tab my way on down. So these are uh, data sharing settings. You can keep all this on if you want. If you do not want Google to see some of your stuff, you can hit no on some of them. Ready to hit next. You just need the web. You're going to hit next. Then you're going to put a your website name in. Now this is for you so you know which property you're looking at. I'm going to do iMark Interactive Demo. And then you're going to do uh, the protocol, which should be HTTPS. In this case, this is my uh, Cloudways demo account. Then you're going to pick an industry. This uh, really is for benchmarking, so they can give you benchmarking data with other people in the industry. So pick which one that makes sense for you. And then you're going to do your time zone. And you're going to hit create. you got to make sure to read through all this. Uh, this is a long piece of data. You're going to accept it. Another one, accept it. And then what's going to do is it's going to first prompt you to see if you want to download the mobile app. First thing is it's going to come here and give you the tracking ID. This is the most important information right here. This is how you track people. So 
right here is the data that you're going to really need or this up here. This is the tracking ID, uh, the UA code. So this is what Google uses to track. So let's go back to WordPress and I'll show you a couple ways to do this. Right now I have a generate press theme on this demo. So I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. First, we're going to go to plugins, add new. You're going to type GA Google Analytics. This uh, Google Analytics is from Jeff Star. Great plugin, super easy to use. Uh, there's really only like two settings that you need to play with. And then while that's installing, you're going to come back here and you're just going to grab this UA or this UA code, this tracking ID. I'm going to come back here and activate GA Google Analytics. So now you will see here it'll, settings and it should be under here on settings and Google Analytics. Super simple. The interface right here, not the greatest, I will say, but really all you're using, looking for is right here, plugin settings. Click it, set GA tracking ID, put it in and make sure to select global site tag, G tag. That's the new method. Uh, Google recommends this being in your header. Uh, some people recommend putting it in your footer for a little bit of site speed, but I will say that we have seen uh, tracking get kind of knocked off because of that. If something doesn't load up above, it can stop the tracking from happening. So I don't typically recommend that um, unless you're like gung-ho about getting every little thing out of uh, site speed. But usually you put it in your header. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disable tracking for admin level users just like that so that does not track you as you are on your site logged in as an administrator so this won't get a bunch of stuff kind of you know your own tracking information in there you don't want that so you're just going to hit save changes and then you can go back to google analytics and you can go to real time And I'm going to kind of go to the site. You got to give it just a little bit in order to start tracking. But in a little bit, it should start picking up active users. Once I start moving around the site in another window, well, that actually wouldn't work because I'm actually logged in. So. <laughs> See, I didn't even follow my own instructions. There we go. Now it picked me up. So you can see over here that's picked me up. So all I did was log out. I'm in another window over on the other side. So I logged out, and it's kind of picked me up. It shows what page I'm on. Um, and if I change pages, you know, it's not exactly instant, but it should follow me on the page that I'm on. See how it changes now? It takes a little bit. So now you know that it's actually tracking and pulling in information. So if you want to test it in your, on your own, all you have to do is go into a new browser or incognito in Chrome or Firefox, put in your website, and make sure you're not logged in like I just did, and then kind of scroll around your site and see if under real-time overview you're getting tracked. So let's go back down to the admin. Now you're going to see uh, the account that you created, the property, and then the view. You really don't need to mess with the view. Um, one thing you can do if you want is go into view settings, scroll all the way down, and make sure the bot filtering is on, and site search tracking is on if you want to do it. So you can do that with WordPress by basically grabbing question mark s equals that's your query parameter that's how wordpress works so if you put that in there uh, that's your parameter and it will basically track what people are searching for on your site it's pretty cool so you're going to hit back we'll go back into tracking info just so we have it and then tracking code under the property again we have this in here so this is set up and this is ready to go let's Let's remove this plugin, or at least just deactivate it. So I won't be tracking anymore. So now I'm going to go in 
if you don't want to use that one, look for Insert Headers and Footers. This is by WP Beginner. Uh, it does say untested with your version of WordPress, but it works just fine. Uh, the benefit of this plugin is it gives you the ability to add other items to your header or footer, like Facebook pixels, Pinterest pixels, um, Google verification meta tags, other meta tags, really anything that goes into the header without having to edit your theme files. So in order to do this, you're going to go over to settings, insert headers and footers, real simple. Uh, there's a scripts and header box and scripts and footer box. I will say if you use WordFence, and this is the first time you're using this, a lot of times when you hit save, it'll come up with a big old 403 and say that this is being blocked for being suspicious. Hit the whitelist button, go back, paste your code back in and hit save and it'll let you go through. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Google Analytics, still on the tracking code. You're going to copy and paste everything in this box. You're going to come right in here, paste it in. That's all you need, and you're going to hit save. So now that you are in there, that should be tracking as well. So we will go back into real time, and it'll most likely still be tracking me. I haven't really moved. Um, as you can see, I'm on this page now. Um, I just did a quick search, and then I'm going to go back to the home page. And it should track me pretty good here. So again, it's tracking. So this is a pretty cool page right here, uh, the real time, because you can see how many people are on your site. This is uh, pretty nifty. So this is um, a really nice way to kind of see what's going on in your site real quick. Okay, so let's go back into WordPress and show you the last way. So basically, uh, GA Google Analytics plugin or insert headers and footers plugin. Those are great ways to do it. So I'm going to I'm going to deactivate that one as well. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to activate a Genesis theme which a lot of our customers use and a lot of um, people that we recommend use. So basically when you go to the customizer let me go back out and kind of show you how I got in the customizer. So if you're going to go, you can do it two ways, but let's say you go to Genesis and just hit theme settings. It's going to load the customizer. It's going to load into theme settings. So let's go back and show you where it is. Theme settings. Header and footer scripts. We're going to go back in here. Go to tracking info under the property. Tracking code. We're going to copy all that. We're going to put it in the header scripts box, and we're going to hit publish. So just like headers and footers, if you have Genesis, you do not need the insert headers and footers plugin. It's unnecessary. You just need the Genesis area right here. You can put the same scripts in the header scripts box or the same scripts in the footer scripts box. So just like before, you now have the, the Google Analytics code right in there, and you are ready to go and tracking. Um, one way to find out if you do have it in there, just to make sure, you can go to the site, right-click in Chrome or Firefox and hit Inspect, excuse me, right-click and hit View Page Source. You're going to do a Find UA-Dash, and you will see that there it is. It's in there. So in this case, it shows two because it's in there. Um... UA dash is in there twice, but that is the correct way of doing it. You can just see that it's in there. That's a real simple way to just go and see if you have the Google Analytics code on there. One big issue that a lot of people have is they install Google Analytics twice. We see this all the time. Do not do this. Very simple to find out. You can also do the same thing I just did where you go to the site, view source, find GA dash, See how many times it comes up. If it comes up too many times, you're not, you don't recognize the ID or the ID is the same outside of the script that I just showed you. This one will have it in there twice. UA is up here and UA is down here. 
If you have it four times, you probably have it in there too many times. There are other plugins that a lot of people use. Um, Monster Insights is one, and Exact Metrics is another. These are popular plugins that allow you to do the same thing, insert Google Analytics code into your site, but they give you data back from Google Analytics. I think these are just uh, unnecessary plugins. They're, they're very large. Um, their footprint is large. It, you just don't need it. You don't need to see Google Analytics data inside your WordPress dashboard, and the reason is is because it's very limited. You want to be able to just go to Google Analytics and see all the data. That's the that's where all the data is. The audience, acquisition, behavior, conversions, all that data is in here. You're not going to get that in your WordPress dashboard, and you don't need to. That's just adding stuff that makes things slow. So I don't recommend it. But if you're reading other things that say, hey, install this plugin or try this, make sure, just like I did, turn off the one that you just installed before you install another one. Because if you have multiple Google Analytics scripts, What's going to happen is your Google Analytics data is going to be flawed. You're going to have messed up bounce rates or you're going to have tracking numbers that just are not correct. So just recommend making sure you go through your plugins. You don't see anything that says Google Analytics, you know, multiple times or you have an insert headers and footer scripts and Genesis and they both have Google Analytics in there. Um, real simple to handle. But these are three ways that you can install Google Analytics and WordPress, and they're very easy. It doesn't really take but a couple minutes, and you are off to the races. So if you guys have any more questions or have any ideas for videos that you would love about WordPress, uh, put them in the comments below. We appreciate you, and check us out at imarkinteractive.com.